So creating a quiz is very simple. I'm going to break it down into three sections. We have the question, which is a simple print statement. We have the input, which is taken from the user's answer. And then we have the condition or the if statement to see whether the answer is correct or incorrect. And then based on those three things, we can then have an, um, an endpoint, which is um, adding to a score, printing out that the user is correct or incorrect. And then if you've reached 10 questions, it would end the quiz. So first thing we want to do is just simply tell the person, welcome to the quiz, dead straightforward, simple print. Next thing, this is where we're gonna get straight into, you can add a lot more um, personality and interactions with the user before you get into the questions before this. So you could ask, ask things like what their name is, if you wanted to store their name and their score in an external text file. Um, you can tell them the rules. So they'll be given four answers, three answers to choose from, two answers, um, or they'll be asked to type in their own answer. Depends what type of quiz you have. You can do all that before. Um, that's up to you, and that's kind of separate from what I'm doing at the moment. The quiz I'm going to do is a very simple maths quiz, so the answer can only be right or wrong, which, again, any quiz has a right or wrong answer, but in this situation, the user is typing in their answer rather than choosing from a list of answers given to them. So, as I said before, we need to pose the question to the user. So, they can do this two ways. We can um, make it a bit more efficient and combine a print statement with the input statement, but I'll do this way first and then refine it after. So the first thing we want to do is ask them the question. So uh, print, I'm going to put Q1, what is 2 times 2? And I'm just spaced out like that just so people can read the uh, question a bit easier. Um, so at the moment, our very basic quiz, all it does is ask two questions. Um, Next, you're gonna to want to get the input from the user. So we need to set up a variable. I'm just gonna call mine answer. I'm gonna equal this to input. Dead straightforward. And then finally, this is where it gets a little bit more compl uh, complex, but if you've watched any of my previous videos, everything kind of builds up to this anyway. I have a video on strings, input, and conditions, so if statements. So. What we need to do now is check to see whether this answer here that the user has typed in equals the known answer for two times two. Now, obviously it's a very simple answer. We know it's four, but this gets you practicing the uh, the logic behind um, setting up a quiz. So don't worry about the question for now. You can change this question later on to be something a bit more challenging for the user to answer. So we start off with if, and I'm gonna say if answer is equal to, so to do equal to, it's a double equal sign, if that is equal to four, then we're gonna print simply that the user is correct. Else we print incorrect. Very straightforward. So you could stop there. You could say, that's it, that's our quiz done. However, I'm gonna add one or two more things to it. Um, but we're gonna give it a run here. I'm gonna save it. Uh, there's already one here made here, so I'm gonna overwrite it. Actually, no, we're going to do this as a second one, quiz two. So you can see in the shell it's ran. Welcome to the quiz. Question one, what is two times two? We put four. Prints out correct. Let's give this a run again to test whether we get it wrong if it tells us we're incorrect. So six, incorrect. Fantastic, it works. Um, this is where now you start to add to it, add features, add functionality, make it a bit more efficient, use less lines of code. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to combine uh, print and the input. Now we know we can prompt the user using this input um, function. We can prompt them with a question. So I can simply take what's inside the print brackets and place that into the input brackets here. I can get rid of this line here. And now we're, we've get, got rid of practically three lines there. Yes, two of them were empty, but we're, we're slimming it down, we're chunking it down, and we're making it easier to understand. So again, let's test the functionality. Must be saved. Okay, it's printed out the question. Four, correct. Now, the only issue is here, we've gone from um, the user entering the answer on the line underneath to entering the answer right next to the last character. So um, what you could do is you could edit this and just put a space, or you could put um, answer 
colon space. So if we give this a run, it just outs our formatting a bit more. So uh, welcome to the quiz. What is two times two? Answer for correct. So you can play around this. You can put it onto the next line if you want using backslash n. It's entirely up to you. Um, this part is going to stay the same. There's nothing really to change there because it's the if statement checking to see if the user's answer is four or whatever the answer may be to the question. It then prints out based on um, their correct or incorrect answer. And with it being a quiz, you might want to log a score. Now, if the user gets it right, obviously we give them one. If you get it wrong, they don't get a score. So what I'm going to do is I am going to create, um, in fact, I'm going to do it right at the very beginning before the questions even are asked because it's just good practice to have all your variables initialized at the very beginning. Score equals zero. They start with a uh, score of zero. Obviously, they're starting the quiz. They haven't got any questions correct yet, unless you want to give them one for their, their name. Um, but here is where we're going to start to increase the score. So if they get it right, and it is correct, you're going to print out correct, and then you're going to say score is equal to itself plus one. So if the score was five, it'd be five plus one. That would be the new number. If they get it wrong, well, obviously, they don't get a point. And just to make sure this is working, I'm going to print out the variable score. So now we give it a run. Okay, still working. We get question right. We get it correct. And then it's printed out our current score. If I run it one more time, get the answer wrong, incorrect, and our score stays at zero. So from here, you can simply copy and paste this block of code so you've got your your question in the input you've got the condition to see whether it's right or wrong and whether it's right you get the score if it's wrong you don't and they move on so i could simply copy and paste this multiple times and change the question in the question and change the answer to be correspondent to the correct answer for your new question so very simple way of making a quiz